So in order for our garden to be successful, there's just certain concepts that we want to master. And once you master these concepts, then your garden can be easy, fun, and productive. So the concept I want to talk about today is how to naturally control aphids in your garden. So I've heard people claim that if you grow your garden perfectly, that no bugs will attack your plants. And I am thinking, wow, that's a really tall order to grow your plants perfectly. Even one weather event can throw your garden off. So I don't think I can grow a perfect garden. So I'm willing to learn the skills to help my garden be successful. So aphids, they enjoy my garden in the spring. I can count on their appearance as soon as it gets warm. And aphids are soft pear-shaped bodied insects that suck the juice out of your plants. Um, some of the aphids, they have wings, and most aphids are green, but they come in red, yellow, gray, uh, and even black. So aphids are about an eighth of an inch long, and they have six legs. They are born pregnant. Yep, they are born pregnant. Female aphids can give birth to pregnant females, and that can occur for several generations. And in the fall, the female aphids mate with the males to produce the eggs that will winter over. And the aphids also secrete a sticky honeydew substance from their rear end. And the ants, they will carry the aphids around and harvest this honeydew from the aphids. So then in the fall, the ants will carry the aphid eggs into their nest and take care of the eggs until spring. Can you believe that? The ants are helping with the aphids. In the spring, the ants will return the aphid eggs to the plants. And if you have an ant invasion, go ahead and look for aphids as well. So I know of 14 different ways to control aphids. So if you would like to learn all 14 ways, then go ahead and grab our homemade organic pest control book. But here are my four favorite ways to control aphids. So number one is pyrethrins. So pyrethrins are extracts from a chrysanthemum and you can spray it on the plant or use it as a powder. Number two is safer soap. It works well on aphids and you have to get it on the body of the bug. So it kills by suffocation. So aphids breathe through their pores. So safer soap clogs their pores and then they can't breathe anymore. Number three is repellent spray. This can be used to repel aphids, white flies, slugs, and cutworms. And you want to reapply after a rain or apply once a week. Um, go ahead and mi mince one bulb of garlic and one small onion and add to that one tablespoon of cayenne pepper and a quart of water. So let this steep for about three hours and then add a tablespoon of liquid soap. You could use a safer soap or a very mild dish soap. And then go ahead and strain this, put it in your sprayer, and then you can spray that on the plants. And the fourth way is a garlic oil spray. And this is used for control over aphids, cabbage loopers, earwigs, june bugs, leaf hoppers, squash bugs, and white flies. So go ahead and mince one bulb of garlic and soak it in two teaspoons of mineral oil for 24 hours. Next, mix one pint of water with one tablespoon of liquid soap and then add the garlic mix to the water and the soap. So you wanna mix this thoroughly, strain out the garlic and place it in a jar for storage. And then go ahead and use one to two tablespoons of garlic oil mix to two cups of water and you can spray that on your plants. You wanna get the whole leaf surface. All right, so these are my four favorite ways to control aphids. And if you would like to learn the other 10 ways, you can get into our Homemade Organic Pest Control eBook. And that you can get for free when you sponsor the show. We are giving it away along with the Gardener's Guide to Perfect Soil and the Preserving Fruits and Vegetables Guide. And you can get that at the $8.50 level for sponsoring the show. And the money that we raise from the sponsorship, it goes to keeping the show free for you and everyone around the world. And I feel that everyone should have access to learning how to grow food for themselves and their families. And by sponsoring the show, you are part of keeping this education free and feeding people around the world. 
If you'd like to learn more about high performance gardening that leads to garden success, go ahead and go to our website, thelivingfarm.org, and there you're going to find more articles, videos, and e-courses that can help you on your way to success. If you want to learn how to grow $2,500 worth of organic produce with only a 15 minute a day commitment, sign up for the High Performance Garden Show. There are hundreds of episodes chock full of my best gardening secrets that I have learned over the last three decades. Go to thelivingfarm.org slash high-performance-garden-show. It's free and online. Also, if you want to join the premier online community of people who grow food, medicine, and build resilient communities, join us today at thegrownetwork.com. Thanks so much for watching. May your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic.